Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ranker, and today I'm going to show you guys a how I make my robot music with the robots making the music. Um, basically what I've got here is Ableton um, and just a couple drum racks, and I've got this script that I've done in Sekuli, when Sekuli is actually a scripting language, so let's take a look at this thing. So basically, this is just a short script that randomizes my drum grid in Ableton. Um, it's going to ask me for the number of hits I want to put on there and then the drum pad. And it, it goes through this loop that's going to click, double click a couple times uh, in there. And it's going to randomize the drum grid. So I've got a couple of drum racks. This first one is just the Amen Break. Um, so I've taken, I've actually gone and uh, taken out each of the hits and put them into a drum rack um, just by doing um, the def, there's, you can actually slice it to MIDI and it'll come out this way. Um, it's really fast to do in Ableton, um, but you know, if you look up slice to MIDI, I'm sure you can do that, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of the video is to show you how I make the robots make the musics. So, um, here I run the securely script and I'll show you what it does. So here we get this box here that's like entered a number of hits. So that's actually going to be how many how many um little squares we get on our grid here, which is my Ableton drum rack grid. So let's say I want like I don't know 10 like make it completely random. Amen. Uh and then let's go like 15. And so this thing's like, show me the drum pad, and I show it the region of the drum pad. I'm not exactly sure why this box didn't hang out, but I know where it ends, so I'm just going to do that. And it's going to go, and I'm not doing any of this. Uh, the script was just running randomly, so let's hear what that sounds like. It's just a random grid there. So that's so that's kind of a you know cool little random amen break. Um, so I know where the kicks are. I can place some of that in there if I know that I want the kicks to sit a certain place. Let's just put them on the one and the three to get it like a little bit less like a completely random thing. And I'll take out these little Game Boy hits that I put in there. So you can kind of, from that, like, from that sort of starting point, usually I can kind of tweak the hits to kind of flow better pretty quickly. You know, as you can tell, I would probably, like, use something like this as, like, either a variation or you can chop it up after that. You know, there's uh, all kinds of things you can do from there. So that's that. That's the Ableton script that I did. So I'm going to close Ableton now here. And I'm going to go over to Audio Mulch, which I'm not sure if anybody's seen, if many people have seen Audio Mulch before. But basically, Audio Mulch is this little, um, it's kind of like, a toy sequencer almost. You've got these routings um, and you route them in this area. So basically all I've got here is a, is a drum kit basically. So I'll go in and I've got, I, I do a lot of drum programming in audio mode so I'll go in and do a bunch of drum programming and this is what it sounds like. So that one. Um, I've got a couple more here. Okay. So let's say I wanted to kind of like make some variations on this. So I've got another script here that randomizes this drum grid the same way as the Ableton script works, but it, it's just in audio mulch here. So let me get my drums to focus. So I'm gonna just go ahead and randomize this by running my randomized script. Which is, I swear,
switched over if you didn't see it to another script. Excuse me, uh, I'll kill that for a second. I went over to another script here. This is the one for that are made for Audio Mulch. So if you don't have Audio Mulch, obviously you probably aren't that interested. I believe there's a trial of it. You can go download it uh, on their website. Uh, this is Audio Mulch 1. I'm not sure if this will work with Audio Mulch 2, but I assume it will. It'll also work on anything that kind of looks like this that has like uniform drum squares. Um, so I'll show you how that goes. And this only does single clicks, whereas the Ableton did double clicks on the grid. So here it's asking me to enter the number of hits. I want, let's say I want like to go crazy, do like 25. Okay. Now, same thing. It's saying, hey, man, show me the drum pad so I know what I'm working with. I just go ahead and get that grid, and it's going to click through and uh, automatically just select some randomized drum hits here. Um, so I already had my drum beat up, so it's kind of just doing... Um, it's kind of like shuffling it around a bit in a way this is what it sounds like so you can kind of so you can kind of hear that it sounds like the original one but things have been shuffled around randomly and everything is kind of quantized uh, to 16th notes in this drum machine so I don't really have to worry that much about getting crazy results and also I, I already you know programmed something in in the first place and then just randomized it So the next thing that I like to do, I have this other script, which I wrote here, which is a little bit more heavyweight. Um, and so this one's a little more complicated, but what this does is randomizes the actual samples. Um, so I'll show you how that works. Run it here. Um, it, this one asks for the buttons, and I select the buttons that actually choose the samples in Audio Mulch. And it's going to go through and it's going to randomize. So that was that actually randomized the kick drum there. And it's going to randomly select some samples. And it's also going to press up and down a certain amount of times to, to further randomize it. Um, so this is actually going through and selecting new sound files. So it's going to go through and do every single one of those in the kit. Okay. Um, looks like it went on the top there. I don't really want one, so I can just click someplace else and help it a bit. You can do that if you want to. Because it's just going to press up and down a random amount of times afterwards. So. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's fine. So the script has pretty much randomized my symbols there. Uh, I just decided I didn't want it to use the ones at the top, so I kind of click down and, and let it kind of press up and down a random number of times after that. So you can kind of, you know, sway it if you want while it's running. Um, but really, you know, the computer is kind of doing some stuff for you there. As you could tell, I was just kind of clicking around a little bit randomly with the randomized thing going on. So anyway... Yeah, just give it a run, I guess, and you'll see. <laughs> so 
So, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and like just tweak with this for a while. Um, it went and randomized all the samples and all the hits there. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is play with this, you know, kind of clean it up a little bit. Uh, you can kind of get a groove. If you, a lot of times, if you have something cluttered like this, if you just pull things out, or if you, if you kind of uh, lean more towards the one, two, three, four beats, you know, you can do things like that and make it more coherent, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I might use something like that. More than likely, I would just save this um, until I thought of something, some place for it, um, and then bring it back out later. You know, see if I could use it in a mix, um, or chop it up. Maybe take you know take a couple hits out of it, use it as filler, et cetera, et cetera. Just really, you can you can do if you use your ears. Uh, you know, sometimes you hear things that. Uh, you come up with through the randomizers like this that you might not otherwise hear or that you might not otherwise you know get or think up with your brain so sometimes usually I like to do things with my brain but also sometimes I as a programmer you know I like to do things like this and let the computer kind of do some work for me um, so yeah hopefully you guys like it I'm gonna put the project up on SourceForge um, not exactly sure what the name will be and post this around the internet so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy and have that. My name is Angry Ranker. I have a SoundCloud. It's soundcloud.com slash angry ranker, uh, A-N-G-R-Y-R-A-N-C-O-R. -R. And uh, I host a radio show on Glitch FM um, and do original music and sets. So check me out if you like it and hope you enjoy the scripts and making the fun robots make the fun music. Peace.